Okay, this is what it looks like. And then look at them, y'all. Oh my goodness. Look. Honestly, don't know how to chop spinach either. Look how pretty those are. They could take this right from A. Upstairs too. Oh, yeah. and has a TV and game. Look! Oh, this is lovely. Whoa! Pussy mama! Six. But I'm like, oh, you can squeeze into those. Wrong. Thank you to PMD for sponsoring today's video. I've been using the PMD Clean Body for years now, and I love that it gives me that spa-like experience at home. It has replaced so many of my other shower tools because it does it all. You can use the different heads to exfoliate, dry skin, buff away rough skin, and massage away aches and pains. And unlike other shower tools, PMD is made with antibacterial products, so you can use this for a lifetime without having to worry about bacteria buildup. Skincare is more than just your face, and PMD is having their biggest sale of the year, and you can get your clean body today by clicking the link in my bio and using my code McKenna PMD for 40% off. Welcome back to a vlog. Y'all don't even know, I just love talking to y'all. It is just ridiculous at this point. But today is Friday. I'm actually sitting down because I was about to start getting ready in the bathroom and then I'm like, the Sephora sale is today, baby. And I lost everything that I freaking put in my car yesterday. And so now I'm trying to remember. I don't know if I had a screenshot of it or not. So I was waiting for today and I want to hurry up and get my stuff before it uh, gets sold out. So I am literally trying to remember. I was talking to, if you guys remember me mentioning him before, my friend Marissa Sephora and I was like, <laughs> give me some recommendations some some stuff that i should get and i was just asking him about like different perfume scents so i'm definitely gonna get the sol de janeiro the new fragrance that they have just gonna want to smell it i was gonna actually go into sephora but y'all will see in a minute why i don't really have enough time but i'm reading up on my way saint bart's because y'all know that is my s-h-i-t i did want to try the kaoli yum so normally i would just go in person and then smell it and then obviously i would know if i like it or not but oh my god it's already out of stock see are you i'm so mad i just want to try it but i'm not gonna buy the whole thing if i haven't smelled it yet okay so i guess we're just gonna have to take a trip to sephora probably sometime this week but i'm gonna try to just go ahead and order what i know that i do want before it gets sold out for sure i want to try the kaoli yum because yeah makai was saying that the yum by kaoli smells good but i'm nervous because of the pistachio i'm not a big pistachio girl so i don't know if i would actually like it but i was gonna order the sample size for the travel size and it's literally already sold out so i'm gonna have to go in and smell it before i decide to commit to the full bottle but oh my gosh i'm so mad i can't remember oh you know what else i wanted the summer fridays pink lip balm y'all sold that out I miss, I miss, I miss. y'all know how much i love summer fridays and i'm i wanted it so bad and it's already sold out i'm like oh be so for real oh okay i'm just gonna re-up during the sale on my tatcha products as well because y'all know i've been loving the tatcha cleanser and then the little rice foaming wash as well so i know i had that in my basket he recommended me a couple of other things too but they're more like skincare products and i'm not switching up anything on my skincare right now he did say the patrick ta glow bomb was really good for like making your skin look really nice so i'm interested in getting that of course my shit is out of stock it was not out of stock yesterday. It's only 10 24 in the morning. Girls, give some of us slackers some time. Okay, let me see if there was anything else that I wanted to grab. I don't know. I think that's low key it. Everything else that I wanted to get was like a fragrance that I feel like I need to go in store and smell. The only other thing that I put in there is the limited edition Sol de Janeiro Illuminating Body Cream. So I want to try that. So in my cart, I have the Tatcha Rice Milk Foaming Cleanser, the Tatcha Rice Regular Cleanser, the Way St. Bart Scrub, and the two Sol de Janeiro products. So my total is 222. That's before this, so I even. Um, but no, oh, it's giving good vibes. Angel numbers. Let's just go ahead and we're gonna check out with that and then we'll have to take a trip this week and see why did my sale price not apply? It's supposed to be 20% off. Save now. Okay, I gotta put the code on it. Don't forget to use the code, girl. But I'm pretty sure the sale for Rouge members is running from now all the way until next week. And then that's when, if you're a VIB, it starts running afterwards. But I think Rouge members have, for, no, don't miss the sale, girl. If there's anything you get from Sephora, yeah, okay, big perk. Brought our total down, $44, we'll take it. That's like getting the Tatcha face wash, but 
for real. Can I apply this at the same time? I also have $10 that I can apply. Nope, I can't use that. Okay, whatever, don't care. Make sure it's going to the right address. I'm gonna get it by next Wednesday. That's cool, I'm really not tripping. Place order. Ooh, you know what, I'm here. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is really low too. I don't, I'm having like some allergies this morning. I was also on JLux label. I feel like I'm really close to y'all as well. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I can't push y'all back any further than you are because the mount is already up against the wall. This is like awkwardly uncomfortable. How does my skin look? I had that one little pimper last week and I did not pick at it. And it's healing so nicely. It wasn't even last week. Like low key, it's been a couple days. Not even a couple days. I talked to y'all yesterday. I digress. Anyways. Okay, yeah, I've been on JLux label because y'all know I was trying on my outfits for a vacation. If you saw that vlog when I was going through all my closets and stuff and I realized I do not have enough outfits for a vacation. And then of course, Instagram posted an ad for JLux label and they had all this cute ass stuff come across. And I'm like, immediately, yes, immediately, yes. I'm going on there to purchase things now. So I have a couple of things in my car and they're just like little sets. I don't know. They're just like beachy resort vacation looks. Destination crochet. We meet again. I don't really like how they have their website set up to be honest. But I did like some of those pieces that I had got from JLux label earlier. The only thing is like some of these mesh stuff. Like what do you wear under this? Genuinely. I'm confusion. Because this little dress is cute. But I don't really like this royal blue color. And I don't want to wear white all the time. And I don't want it in black either, but I don't know about the blue. blue. I think we're done. I was finishing up a little bit of work this morning. That's why I've been sitting at my computer. But now let's go get ready before we be late. All right, I just need to lay my edges and we're gonna change outfits. I just worn this. The amount of times I have to crop out my nipples when I'm editing these videos is ridiculous. Like, be serious. Anyways, I dropped the boys off at school this morning and I was gonna let Carter and Carson just stay home this morning, but then I was like, no, I need to finish up some work. I'm gonna have to go back by this way anyways. I'll just put them up on my way, on my way home because I didn't have nothing planned for them to do besides we're going to the movies. So we're about to go get ready to pick them up. But I have a couple of packages that I want to open with y'all beforehand. Can't find my edge control. Where is the edge control? It's right here in the place that it belongs. Love that for me. I also need to moisturize my scalp. And I got some new products off Amazon that I'm going to be using while I have my braids in. I'm going to be having braids for the next little bit of a while. I was thinking about getting the closure sewing, but I don't know, honestly. I think for the summertime, I'm just going to keep these, like, try different braided styles. Because I'm really digging this. Like, I really like this. My buns are a little discombobulated, but you feel, you feel the vibes? Okay, anyways, this is a little spray and it is the rice water and rosemary growth spray. Usually I make my own rosemary water at home. I haven't been making it a lot lately and low-key I have not been able to find rosemary leaves. Maybe out of stock because I guess that's like trendy right now for hair or whatever. So this one has rice water and rosemary and I'm just gonna like spray it on my scalp. I would normally just do this at night but I haven't been moisturizing my scalp and it's getting a little bit itchy you don't want to just put oil on your scalp you want to like have something moisturizing also because oil really just seals in moisture so we're doing like this three-step kind of process i gotta put some at the back of my neck too because them tight back there they'll probably put like a little bit in my edges but isn't my brighter cold oh i'm going to hurt from now on for everything like ah! Okay, and then I'm going in with this. Y'all know I love the Way Scalp Serum, but it's $50. I just feel like it runs out so fast that I would have to buy it multiple times a month for $50. No, no. <laughs> so I did some research, or more so searched on Amazon, like a hair hyaluronic acid serum, because that's basically what it is, or just a hair serum. And I found this for $8 from Pacifica, and it's rosemary and mint, which are two of my favorite hair oils. I use mint oil and rosemary oil a lot in my hair. So I got this and I'm going to put this all over my scalp as my serum and then I'm going to lock it in with some oil. I don't want to make my braids frizzy though so I'm, this is why I would do it at night because then I wrap my hair down at night and then it's not really going to get frizzy but I'm trying to focus it mainly on my scalp so my hair doesn't frizz up because we got to rock this style for the next two weeks until we get our hair redone when we go for our trip i still haven't decided what type of hair style i'm gonna get yet for the trip because at first i wanted tribal braids but like boho and now 
I was like, I don't know if I want to just do a regular boho. I just want to make sure I really like the hairstyle because I don't want to go out of town and then not want to take pictures because I don't like my hair. You know what I'm saying? I will try to link these for you guys, but this is what I'm going to be using. I also have not taken my vitamins yet this morning, and it's just an excuse for me to show y'all something I read so lit about i've been having it for a while but i haven't set it up yet because i didn't know where i was gonna put it but i'm gonna show y'all let me just finish up my edges really fast put some sunscreen on and some lip gloss and then oh i need to change my clothes really fast i look you need to flat iron my edges i run the hot comb through them because they're kind of like all curled up at this point we're not going anywhere fancy so i'm not going to do any unnecessary damage to the edges they still they look a little fluffy but it's nothing it's nothing a little edge control cake fix you feel me like how she had them when I first got it done was so cute, but I can only like re like replicate that if I straighten them and I don't really want to do that. Last night, Aaron and I went and saw Scream and it was so good, y'all. Like I'm not a scary movie or a horror movie person at all. I usually will just like watch them with Aaron because he really likes scary movies, but I'll like cover my face the entire time or go to sleep. But I was actually interested in it. I feel like it wasn't that scary. Like it was a little bit like, oh, like jumpy. But I feel like the storyline of the movie was just really good. Yeah, we ended up seeing that, which y'all have, have seen a vlog before this vlog, hopefully of a little like get ready with me date night, but the plans ended up getting like all types of mixed up. So we're actually not doing that until Monday and it's Friday. Y'all, I probably will have to explain to y'all what happened. But anyways, our babysitter ended up canceling. So we had to reschedule, but we still ended up going to see the movies because we still had someone who could watch them like well, we went to the movies, but not for the whole shebang we were trying to do, so. Anyways, okay, that's about as good as it's gonna get for now. I'm really congested in my nose. I'm having, like, some really bad allergies today, so, like I said, if I sound really nasally and I'm, like, sniffling a lot, I apologize. I know that grosses some people out, but I'm only human, girl, okay? I just sprayed myself with this a few minutes ago. I absolutely love this stuff, you guys. Like, I'm so I mean, my skin is doing really good, is it not? Like, let's just take a moment. This and this and the Tasha cleanser, chef's kiss, and this Ilias skin tint sunscreen. Yeah, you wash my hands. You only need like a couple drops of this too, but I would highly recommend if you're gonna try it out, go get color matched at Sephora before you get it. And then I low-key have to go get rematched because I'm your girl is tan now, okay? Quit playing work. I don't wanna see nobody say I'm light-skinned again. I have this really big thing about hating people calling me light-skinned. I don't know if I've talked about it to you guys before or not. I probably have because I can't shut up about it. I just don't like the term light-skinned or like being referred to as a light-skinned because I feel like that comes along with the stereotype that i'm like oh i think i'm so cute like you know how light skin girls with curly hair be acting like some of them be acting like they they should not say you know what i'm saying like they just the baddest and i just that's not me that's not my personality type i don't think i'm too good i don't think nothing like that's just not you know i'm not like that so when people call me like oh you're like skin girl i get hella offended like hella offended no you see me i'm brown okay I'm trying to explain to them the difference between light skins and I just happen to like lose a little bit of my color in the winter. <laughs> no, I know that I'm actually that I technically am light skinned, but I just don't like the term. Okay, I don't like that. I do not like being referred to as such. I feel like I'm trying to rush. It's because I ended up taking a little bit longer to finish up this work that I thought it was going to take me this morning. I'm just gonna throw on a quick. Skins. I really could just wear what I have on. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I have on some gray sweatpants, a skims top, and then I was just gonna wear this little jacket because you know, like, gets cold in the movies. I don't even think I'm gonna change. It's just the movies. I'm just not even that serious. I'm just gonna throw on my slides. Let's put on perfume. I think I put on deodorant this morning. Can't remember, but we can run that back really quickly. I didn't take a shower this morning though, so I'm just gonna go in with the. Cherryosa 68. <coughs> a little bit too much. <laughs> Shit. That's it. My purse is downstairs. The purse I'm wearing doesn't match this outfit. <laughs> Listen, y'all know me. All right. Let's brush our eyelashes really fast. We were supposed to go to the mall this morning, but I low key didn't have time, so we're just gonna have to go on Monday. I need to go to Diesel because I want to get a little bag. I need to charge my phone too. Before we leave. Oh, I remembered. I almost forgot. 
but I was literally so excited about this yesterday. I got this little thing off of Amazon hellas ago and I found a cute way to set it up in our room. So look, you guys, watch this. Do you see that? Oh my, look, water. Okay, big purr. The lighting is low key, terrible, but. Okay, but yeah, it's really cool because it has like these different buttons on here where you can like set it to like fill up your water however much, if that makes sense, like 100 milliliters, 200, or you can just like hold it down yourself. Sorry, technical, technical difficulties. It's really not that hard to use, but. Okay, yeah, you can like hold it down to like dispense your water and then turn it off if you want. But anyways, I just thought that was so cool because Aaron is constantly either bringing up a water bottle to our room or like he goes down in the middle of the night to like get water. And we do have a mini fridge in our room so we can like keep ice. It has a freezer and a fridge. We can keep ice in there. So if you want to have cold water, you can put a little ice in here. I don't know. I just thought that was so cute. And I like it because it's rechargeable so you don't have to plug it in. And I just like hid a jug of water underneath this dresser. I'll show you guys in a second. And I just have it like laying on its side. Just poked a hole in it, ran the tube through. And we got water. We've got water. I just thought that was so cool. I'm like super excited about that. Cheers. Anyways, I just want to tell y'all that. Okay, let's go downstairs because we need to leave here in 20 minutes. I got some Fashion Nova packages, some Amazon packages, and then my hair oil also came in the mail, so I want to use that. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I'm actually hungry too, so I think we're gonna stop by Starbucks. Not that we're gonna get any food, but I wanna try that new drink that Arnell said was good. She said she gets like a strawberry wrap. I don't know, but it looked good, so I'm gonna try it. And I tried to get it the other morning, and they didn't have any strawberry puree, and I was like, uh. We got some Amazon, and then we got some Fashion Nova. I still have not gotten a box opener. I feel like I ordered one and I can't believe I lost it. And I'm like, girl, wait, let me get another one. Okay, Oh, my phone case came. I know y'all been seeing this phone case everywhere. And it just so happened to match perfectly with this outfit look that I wanna do. So I went ahead and got it off Amazon, but it's like that chrome looking textured case. I've been seeing all the girlies have this. It's not very protective, so I'm not going to use it every day. And look, you don't even look like it's going to fit on my phone. I'm be mad. Let's see. It looks too small. Oh no, it fits. Okay, yeah, see, it's cute. The way I drop my phone though, it has to stay in OtterBox at all times. So <laughs> we will not be using that. That's just for decor. For a little outfit, like a little date night. Okay, phone case. What is this? Oh, this is my moisturizer that I like. It's freaking sold out on Amazon right now. It's not back in stock at the end of April and I'm almost done with it. So I had to get this set because it had the moisturizer in it, but I'm not gonna use probably the toner that came in there. But y'all know if you've been listening to me, get this. If you need a new moisturizer, don't know saying I've done it for you. But it also came with, oh, did it come with a travel? Oh no, it came with a cleanser and a toner. I'm not gonna really use these, but like I said, I needed that moisturizer. Okay, what else do we get in here? What is, what is that? This is not white. This is lavender. Can y'all see that that's lavender? Are my eyes deceiving me? I feel like it looks purple. It definitely looks purple on camera. Okay, I'm not tripping. Well, what I thought I was getting was a white bathing suit because the one that I got from Monday Swimwear doesn't fit, so I needed another white swimsuit to like wear. But this is, I don't know if it's the light or what. Is this white or purple? It looks like light purple, <laughs> like lavender. Am I tripping? Anyways, it was like a little two piece. I was like, oh, I'll get it off Amazon. It's cute. It's white. You know, it's high waisted cover up that gut. I'll probably still just take it with me because I'm running out of time to find things for my trip. At this point, I'm just gonna go naked. Okay, we got one more Amazon box. Okay. This is my hair oil. I just decided to get the wild growth hair oil. When I'm really heavy on my natural hair journey, I like make my own custom oils and stuff like that, but I honestly have just not been on my shit lately. Uh, when it comes to like 
really taking care of my natural hair the way I know I should have or should be. It is what it is. I'm busy. I'm a busy bee. But I was just gonna, I'm gonna have to look in the mirror to do this, but I'm just gonna seal in all that moisture that I put in my hair with a little bit of this wild growth oil. Okay, now on to the good stuff. We got some Fashion Nova fits. Ooh, let me not cut the clothes. I haven't shopped on Fashion Nova in like two years. And one of my friends was like, girl, you're missing out. They have some shit on there. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll try it. They get one chance. I got a couple pairs of oversized jeans with pockets like that look like cargo pants almost i believe i got a size five of these there's no stretch so honestly don't know if i'm gonna be able to get into these but i thought they were cute i'll try them on with y'all probably when i wear them but <clears throat> okay i got some metallic colored like shirts oh this one's not metallic this is giving like faux leather Okay, well, that's not what it was advertised on the site, but whatever. It's, it's a little bit shiny. I got it in a small, but it says metallic bodysuit on the tag, so. I got this black one just in case. It's giving, like, the sporty vibe that I was going for when I was getting these pieces. I also got it in this silver or chrome color because I have those little chrome heels that I got from Zara that I've been wanting to pair with, like, some jeans, but I needed, like, a top to go with it. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all know I don't know how to dress, but I did get other people's opinions when purchasing these items. And so the way it's all going to go together, I feel like it's going to be cute. Or I could always wear the black top with the silver heels and then wear a silver bag because the bag that I want to get from Diesel is like the chrome bag. Anyways, I got it in this color. I don't know if that's too much. We'll see. Okay, and then I got two more things. These are basically black cargo pants that are supposed to be oversized also got these in a five. Oh, these have a little bit of stretch so i'll probably be able to get into these this is what they look like they have a whole bunch of pockets going up the sides hmm. i think those might be cute we shall see then the last thing i got was like this mesh top again i was going for like a sporty vibe so i got the black oversized jeans and then i was gonna wear it with like maybe like this mesh top and some sneakers to really just try it all on and see what goes together i'm not good at putting outfits together that's why i always get matching sets but sometimes i get tired of sets like if i want to switch it up yeah. okay there's a chipotle over by the movies because i don't like the movies food like this movie theater would be my absolute favorite movie theater ever if the food was actually halfway decent but every time i get my food it's cold or it's just nasty and I, I can't eat there. It's just, I've tried almost everything on the menu. They have a little menu too. Well, I don't know if they have a little, but I don't know. I just feel like it's not very extensive. It's some mid, like, ugh. All right, that's everything that I got that I wanted to open up with you guys. Today, on the agenda, we're going to the movies. Like I said, we're about to go take the boys to see Super Mario Kart. Jess Carter and Carson and Mel is gonna stay at school till the movie is done. And then we have a little bit of downtime after that, but my brother's birthday was April the 12th and his birthday dinner is tonight. So around like seven o'clock, a little bit later, we're gonna go celebrate his birthday with our family and that whole type of thing. So yeah, let's go get in the car and get this party started. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Y'all probably already seen this if you saw my other vlog, but can we get some commotion for the cup? Except for why did I put a purple straw? But this is my new favorite cup from Starbucks. I think it is beautiful. They pop, they shit on it. Hello. Let's go. Hopefully they have what I'm looking for. I need to share Thank you. 
Thank you. Just a little straw. Ooh. Sorry, thank you. Okay, this is what it looks like. I should have said blend the puree into it because I think that's what Arnell said, but I didn't. And so it looks a little different, but we'll see if it's good. Definitely got to take a quick pick. We need a little flicky flicky. I feel like the puree definitely needs to be blended into the drink because the drink itself is fine. Like when I'm drinking the part that doesn't have the puree, it's good, but I might start getting just the regular strawberry and cream, but mm. I'm literally a toddler. I cannot, but it's good. Besides the, I don't like the puree part, but everything else was good. And I never knew they had that on the menu, so. Thanks, Arnell. Shout out to the girls. All right, let's go get these kids. Oh, there's a Starbucks right here. I'm mad. I went all the way to the, I, I should've came here. We're going in here. You want a quesadilla or a burrito? Let's go. Do you want a quesadilla or a burrito? Um, I want a quesadilla. Okay. I want a quesadilla. Hi. for a while i'm actually getting ready to start getting dressed to go to my brother's dinner but i want to try on my stuff that i got from fashion no because <laughs> for some reason i'm just itching to put it on so we're gonna go ahead and throw on a pair of jeans with a top and then another pair of jeans another top y'all know it really wasn't a lot of stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and put this on real fast and then start getting the boys dressed so we can get ready to go so horrible transition queuing okay this is the bodysuit. I had to do a little shimmy shimmy in here. Let's put the jeans on. I feel like the material of the bodysuit, I don't really like that much. Like, I don't like the feeling of it, if that makes sense. Okay, but these are the jeans with no stretch. <sighs> I can't even get them up on my butt. Like, no, that I like, <laughs> I can't get them up on my butt. See, everybody thinks it's cute to be dragging a wagon, but they don't even know. I'm determined to get these on too. I will get down on my knees. And wiggle into these because <laughs> I feel like they could fit the waist on them is just so small but it's not fitting over the booty okay we did it yeah it's the waistline that's super small Whew! I'm sweating just for that two seconds of the pants on and I think I'm pretty much did I break the zipper I got it stuck all the way down we gotta use zip it up to get the full effect here we go come on zipper uh, oh oh okay now, on off rip, I would not wear these two pieces together. I do like the jeans though. Oh, they're giving me squish, but uh, if they these were in the right size, they would be so cute. I'm gonna get a better mirror set up one of these days, but the big mirror I bought broke, so can y'all see the pants? I'm trying to stay out the way. They're so let me just you know what? These are stinking cute. Like in the bottoms are real baggy. But look at my ass. It's like, <laughs> it looks like I'm clenching my butt cheeks. Like half my butt is down here. 
and the other half is squished in here. Can you get your jeans let out? That's a thing, right? Like, I just need some room in the ass. They did not have these in any other size, but my dumb ass was like, I can squeeze it to a five. Cause normally I wear a four anyways. Like if the jeans are stretchy, I wear a four. If they're not stretchy, I wear like a six. But I'm like, oh, you can squeeze into those. Wrong. These are so cute though. I hope they're doing them justice on camera. I really like these. Again, I probably wouldn't wear it with this top, but I got this top to go with these shoes. You feel me? Y'all know I'm matchy matchy. Let's try on the other one. I'm so upset. Do you think I can get them let out just like a little bit in the butt? How do they let pants out? But those are, these are literally so flipping cute. Okay. On to the next. <sighs> Somebody send help. One, two, three. Okay, this is definitely giving the pleather look, which is not originally why I got it. It was more of like a shiny reflective when I saw it online, but I mean, I don't hate it. It's just not exactly what I was going for, for the vibe. But let's put the black jeans on. The black jeans have some stretch to them and I did get them in a size five. So I feel like these are gonna fit at least in my butt better. We can only pray for the best. I usually always know if I can get a jean on by like immediately putting my leg in it. Cause sometimes, oh baby, okay. These are a little bit better stretch wise, but I don't like these as much. I wish they were like a little bit baggier of a jean. Yeah. And I don't know if I could size up cause then I don't think it would fit in the waist. I mean, I like the way they fit on my butt better. I don't know if I just like these pants that much like on me. I wish they were like baggier a little bit like the blue jean ones. I was also thinking if I wore black pants and like a black top, I could wear these shoes and then like accessorize it with something else like a bag that kind of is like this metallic silvery color, but I just don't really like these pants that much. Or maybe it's these pants with this top. Let's switch tops and see how we feel. This is the only other shirt that I got. So ready? One, two, three. Okay, here's the top. I feel like it's giving Shigo vibes, you know, from Kim Possible. Um, I don't know how, I don't hate it. I think it's just the pants that I don't like. I left the other black bodysuit underneath so you guys, you know, didn't see all my goodies, but I don't know. I really just don't think I like these pants. Like. If they were just like a little bit more oversized, I feel like they would fit the vibe, but they feel like they don't know if they want to be tight or loose. That's not my vibe. My butt looks good in them though. I will say that. I don't know. I really don't think that I would wear the pants. They're not baggy enough for me. But I think I like the bodysuit on its own, but I would wear it with like baggier cargo type pants. And then I don't even know what shoes I would wear with this to be honest. I have some dunks, but I feel like that's too matchy matchy. I need to go shoe shopping. Anyways. That's it, that's all I got. It's been semi-organized. Well, I thought maybe I'd be able to wear either one of these jeans tonight for Din Din, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen because the blue jeans are squishing me. And the black jeans, I just I don't know about that. I could put the jeans on with a little sports bra. I don't know how I feel about this body suit. I thought if my outfit matched and it looked cute, like my little black jeans, that I would put the boys in their black jeans and then we could do like matchy-matchy vibes for dinner tonight, but doesn't look like it's gonna work out tonight. <laughs> Which now I don't know actually. I don't know actually what I'm gonna put on. It's like a why I love the winter so much because in winter time it's just easy. Like, oh, I'm gonna throw on a hoodie and some sweatpants and we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Now it's 100 degrees outside. And that seems to be frowned upon. Maybe I will, hmm, I don't even think I have like a white sports bra top put on with those jeans or a black sports bra. The only thing that I'm about to put on right now is this Skims two-piece in the black. And call it a day, I guess. So let me put that on. That way I can just go ahead and start getting the kids dressed. It's 5.40. We look, you don't need to leave here for a while, but let's change once again. Okay, we've got the top on. I would highly recommend if you want to be mom friendly and wear some of the skim stuff, you should buy the tank tops, go underneath, or the bras, but that are the same material. Because they do show your nipples a little bit. I got some deodorant on it, but anyways, if you don't want to show your tatas, I wear the tank tops underneath. I don't always wear a bra with them, but if I'm like going to something family oriented, I mean, my nips still be poking. Erin's mom be making fun of me because she'd be like, you making the most out of them titties. I <laughs> sure am. Hello. I was thinking about getting my nipples re-pierced, but I think I'm out of that era of my life. It's just that I only got to have my nipples pierced for six months because then I got pregnant, which I shouldn't have my nipples pierced at that age anyways, because this was before I had my first son. I had my first son when I was 17. <laughs> Insanity. Insanity. I feel like I could dress this up though. Can we put the Iran sandals on? I really want to get a couple more of these. I really want to go shopping. 
Oh, that looks horrendous. We're not wearing that. We're just gonna put on some phones. Phones on. I really want the marble colored phones. They never have them in my size when I wanna go get them. I already put all my lotion and deodorant on. I don't know, I think I'm gonna switch bags and wear this one, cause my Balenciaga bag is kinda long, like it's a crossbody. Well, you don't have to carry it as a crossbody, but mm, I guess I could just not carry it as a crossbody, I don't know. Sometimes I'd be liking to have my little, you know, actual, like the pouch up here type of deal. I feel like this looks better with the phone runners than my Balenciaga bag, so. <gasps> ah, you guys are slowly falling down. Fragrance of the night. I kind of want to wear something different. I feel like I've been wearing the same couple perfumes for the past couple weeks. Hmm. I really like La Toupee, but I feel like I wear that a lot. If I wear Gucci Guilty, I know my mom will have it on and we'll smell the same. I don't know if this is like a Tom Ford Bitter Peach type of vibe. Let's see. I haven't, ooh, I haven't sprayed this in a while. The Valentino Born Aroma. No, actually, I feel like I feel like that's appropriate. It's like fresh but fruity. I don't know. It's not my favorite though. I'm not like in love with it, but ooh, you know what? I actually I should have put this on. I prefer this over the Valentino. The Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. Ugh, this one smells so much better. This is more by my speed. I want to go fragrance shopping soon though. We're gonna go to the mall. On Monday is gonna be mall day. Also it's supposed to be date day, but I wanna go shopping before. Like I wanna get some perfume, I wanna get some sunglasses for my trip, maybe some shoes, or like little accessories. I think I'm gonna get like little scarves to wear while I'm on vacation, like you know, like wrap around my head during excursions and stuff like that. So I wanna go by, somebody's busting in my room. Anyways, let's go get them dressed. I'm gonna go talk to Oh, Do I wear okay. Hey, when's the last time we've been in the kitchen? That's a good thing, kind of. <laughs> but anyways, it's been a couple days since I've seen y'all. Today is Wednesday the 19th, so it's been a while, while. But that's okay, we just got back from our little mini trip yesterday so y'all should have saw that vlog first just like a little staycation get ready with me i just picked the boys up from school we had some froyo and i'm actually going to be cooking tonight so that's going to be fun i'm trying a new recipe we're doing like stuffed shells but like alfredo chicken instead of like the original like stuffed shells which is usually like ricotta and italian sausage italian sausage i can't talk because my tongue is numb from eating ice cream but anyways yeah, that's the plan for tonight. I also got a couple of packages. So we're gonna open a few things and then I got some flowers. From Trader Joe's, Aaron ended up coming home a little bit early today and we took like a midday nap, but he brought kava and flowers. Chef's kiss. So, love that for me. Oh, we also got our Sephora packaging because you know it's the Sephora sale. And I had to go ahead and re-up on my Sephora products. So that package came in the mail today too. I'm just going to load the dishwasher really fast because everybody needs a good night time routine tonight, okay? Because the last night when we were gone, the kids stayed up way too late when my brother was over here. And then last night, Carter, he went to sleep at a good time, but they ended up waking up and then staying up for a while. So everybody's going to sleep at a good time tonight. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and start dinner a little bit early. It's about to be four o'clock. So I'm going to do the dishes or put them in the dishwasher. I had done them earlier. I've just been like cleaning up around the house today, but I have a few more things I need to put in the dishwasher. So we're going to do that really fast. And then we're going to start on this stuffed shells recipe. I was also going to make some brownies, but now I don't know about that. I don't know, because we did just get frozen yogurt, so. But anyways, I want to make a nice dinner. I want everybody to sit down, eat dinner together at the table. Can y'all hear them yelling? They're upstairs with their dad. But yeah, we're just going to make a little cute dinner night. Open up some packages, so. Let's do the dishes first.
gonna start leaving the original audio in so you guys can hear what it's like to actually live with voice. So everybody thinks it's like shits and giggles. All right, we're gonna try to start our meal off by prepping everything first because I feel like that will be easier because y'all know I get stressed out when I be trying to cook, okay? Today, no, we're not doing that today. So we need all of our seasonings, salt, pepper, red flakes or something. Where are my flakes? So for seasonings, it doesn't call for a lot, it's like black pepper, garlic salt, garlic powder. I got this recipe, of course, off of TikTok. What are we gonna do if they ban TikTok? Low key, that was it. Oh, Italian seasoning and red pepper flakes, which I believe I have. Okay, I found the pepper flakes, the Italian seasoning. Now we need to get out our cold ingredients. We already got the noodles out. So we just need mm, scallops to be itchy. Okay, we need mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, Italiano cheese, spinach, minced garlic, butter, shredded chicken, cream cheese. That's it. I think I might add a little bit. Oh, heavy cream. Ew, it's spilling on me. We need heavy cream also. Cause we're basically making the Alfredo mix from scratch. It's the violence for me. We're going to start the water. Gotta boil some water. Okay, so we need to basically make the sauce and then we need to make the filling. So the sauce is like all of the cheeses and then for the filling, it's like spinach, cream cheese. Let me look, hold on. Gotta refer back to my cookbook. I live in a Okay, one block of cream cheese. Let's separate everything. Cream cheese, spinach, mozzarella, chicken. So everything else is for the sauce. That goes over here. It probably shouldn't take this much mental math to cook, but y'all know me. Oh, she's ready to use. I get some pre-shredded chicken from Target. You can obviously cook your chicken and then shred it or whatever, but I feel like this is pretty good. So that's what I'm gonna use. We're gonna cut up the spinach. Let's make the stuffing first, so. Okay, We've got our bowl. We need to chop the spinach up first. Probably not gonna do that much. She didn't have measurements either, so I'm just gonna chop this up really quickly. I'm not a huge spinach fan, but. Honestly, don't know how to chop spinach either. I don't know why I refuse to buy those little things that chop up all your vegetables. Like, as much as I'm on Amazon. Okay, spinach chopped. Yeah, I'm cooking! Please knock us out cold So I go all the way upstairs. How annoying is that? We're gonna make this first. Chicken. All he's gonna ask me when I go up there is, what are you doing? Like, be so for real. <laughs> okay, they said one whole block of cream cheese. I need my little handheld blender to blend this up. Because how else is it gonna mix? Bing bong. Then it says to do mozzarella. Doesn't say how much, so we're just gonna low-key toss in the whole bag because why not okay and then somehow we're supposed to mix this concoction not really sure about that so you know what i might have something that can mix this hold on i finally got one of these ground beef smushers i don't know if this is gonna get the job done or not but we can try i feel like if i just put my hands in there it would mix so much better should I just mix it with my hands? Let me see, because I'm pretty sure she she just mixed it up. Yeah, see, she just mixed it with a spoon. It's, yeah, see, that's why she didn't film herself mixing it. 
Because mixing cream cheese is so hard. Be serious right now. Ain't no way. You can mix it around. Don't mean it's going to be mixed up. I'm about to wash my hands and just get in there. Let's wash some these auntie arms to work. Do you feel me? I don't know if this is going to be a good idea either because my nails are alone. It's the cream cheese that's not going to mix well. Okay, I feel like it's pretty well mixed now. That was definitely quicker than a spoon. Just rewash. Okay, we got our filling. Quick clean. All right, the water is done boiling, so let's put the noodles in. I'm using jumbo shells. In case any of you guys are like me, you don't really know how to cook. Okay. is enough. Now let's start on the sauce. Let's put the spinach away. I love you need a glass of water. I am severely parched. Here go the waterworks. Who is it? Alfredo, half stick of butter, minced garlic, Italian seasoning, red pepper flakes, olive oil, heavy cream, parmesan, Italian, pasta water. Let's do this. You know what? Probably take this like over the top if you added in like beef. Well, you don't have to do beef bacon, but if you added in like bacon into the sauce, it would probably fire. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven as well because I think she says bake it on 400 and the pasta is going fast, so. Let's hurry up and make the sauce. I feel like that's like a half, that's way more than a half stick of butter, but we get the point. Butter makes it better. Ain't that what Deer said? Mm -mm. That was probably like way, 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 way too much butter. Might take a little bit out. Yeah, I thought it would be ball. Melt this down with some minced garlic. Okay, she did her seasonings in the butter, so I'm going to do my seasonings in the butter before I put everything else in. Pepper, red pepper flakes. She did not put measurements. Measure with your heart. Garlic powder. Italian seasoning. I'm not really a big fan of Italian seasoning, but I'll follow instructions today. She said a little bit of olive oil, a little bit, sure thing. There are measurements for this. Okay. She said one cup of each of the cheeses and one cup of heavy cream. Mm. I have to throw my measuring cup out. So this is gonna be us measuring with our heart. Italian cheese. And then she said a cup of pasta water. Oh, I always forget. You can use mason jars to measure. I feel like this is, uh, ooh, we melted that cheese. Nice and crispy. That's what the lady who makes the burrito says on TikTok. seasoning in here too just so the filling is seasoned because that wasn't on her recipe but I like everything seasoned. Mm -hmm. I said what you hit your elbow I'm oh, sorry oh top off I'm also gonna add in a little bit of the better than bouillon chicken paste because it makes everything just taste better baby you only need like a little little bit though okay Put the rest of the seasoning and mix it in. Red peppers. Carter. You can try to go get on his bike, but there's no room. It was at this moment that he knew. He fed up. <gasps> oh my lordy lord. I'm gonna have to take a big scoop of that out or somebody's gonna be crying about it being spicy. Oopsie. Okay, well. 
That didn't go exactly as planned. Okay, I'm just gonna toss it around a couple of times. All right. The noodles are done, so let's strain those, and then we can stuff the shells, and then get everything in the oven. Outside. He went in the garage, probably trying to lay on his motorcycle. Hello, my baby. I actually need to strain the noodles. Hit them with a little bit of cold water so that it doesn't burn my hand while I'm stuffing. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce in the bottom of the pan first so nothing gets stuck. My sauce is extra cheesy though. Well, I look, we should just put some butter in there. What you talking about, Judah? Okay, it's stuffing time. Look at us cooking. Making new recipes. These look beautiful. We're gonna forget about the spoon and just use our fingers. Look how pretty those are. Do y'all hear this? Don't try to run now, bud. What you talking about? to see what your personality is going to bring to the mix, bud. This looks so pretty. What? What are you talking about? Is it too big? Okay, final moment. Italian mixed cheese, the Italian shredded blend, whatever. It's tap, tap, tap. Let me see what do. Okay, we have everything just in. Okay, we have everything in the oven. It's supposed to cook for 20 minutes on 400 and then broil it for five minutes, but the last five minutes, we're going to put in our garlic knots, which my friend put me on to. She said these are way better than like the garlic bread or toast. So we're going to set these to the side and we're just going to do a little quick clean. Also, I wanted to set the table. I want this to be like a dinner vibe, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to set the table with like all the stuff that we need when we sit down to eat dinner. It's not going to be anything like super fancy, but let's do that really quickly. to somehow get all the way up here. We need a step ladder. Where is the step ladder? We need the carafe for the water. Judah bug. Okay. Short people. Problems. Got it. I got it. I think we're gonna do some wine. I might put the kids some, some juice on the table. I'm feeling in the mood to romanticize life today. No apparent reason. You want some water? Okay, fill it up a little bit with ice. Oh, look how cute. Put it on the table. We need some like little 
napkins or a napkin holder. But I think for now, I'm just gonna put the paper towels on the table. Like this. Mm -hmm. Let's put it on the other side, actually. It honestly makes a lot of sense, but. Wine glasses, the kids. We have like little mini like dessert liqueur glasses <laughs> that I let the kids drink out of. I'm about to wash them out. They look like this. They're just little cups. They can drink their juice out of. Today has been a good day. I'm a good one. And I'm on my period, so that's saying something. You need a wine cup, Judy Woody. Okay, then we gotta put water glasses on the table. All my glasses got broke, like I swear. I have like two glasses left. Like, look at my glass cabinet. And there's only like a few missing. I'm genuinely upset. Like, there's literally only two that are not in there. Hi. You wanna go take a bath and shower with me? They just went to the gym. Okay. I'm just gonna rinse these out really fast. What are you eating? Watermelon? Hi. You're getting so big and so handsome. Yes, you are. Okay. Let's take these to the table. Seriously, I really would. So yeah, I just have a lot of energy. Cheap wine, that's how I like it. Some barefoot peach. It matches the aesthetic of the table, I will say. Put it there. I'm gonna fill their cups up with a little juice because they're always crying about having juice. This is so cute! How cute is this? The lighting in here is horrible. Do you get the vibes? Can you see it a little bit better? How cute is this? Little aesthetic table. And then when the food comes out, I'm just gonna put the food at the ends of the table. We can pass it around. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. How cute is this? I need to take a picture. Are you ready? We've got approximately eight minutes until this is done. So let's see if we can, we can get the dishes in the dishwasher in eight minutes. It's really not even that many dishes. It's not at all. All right, the battery's about to die. The garlic knots are going in. I'm gonna go take a shower, get the baby a bath, and then we'll eat when everybody else is home.
It was juice. Well, okay, it's like an hour later. I've been sitting in the bed after we got the kids to sleep. <sighs> I'm out of breath, so I just went up the stairs. I have a bad headache, so I'm about to go to sleep, but I want to open my packages first. I already did open one of them. I got some more pieces for my trip from J Lux label. This is like a little skirt. And then it came with like this little sweater and a top. I'll just insert pictures of what it looks like on the model so y'all can kind of see. There was a top somewhere. But I also got this little sweater. It's like knitted. It's just giving like resort lounge wear. This as well, like a little bodysuit to match. Here's the top for the other little sweater piece. It's just, it just looks like this. And then I got another skirt. And apparently the top is sold out. So I didn't get the top, but it looks like this. It's just another cute, like, long knitted skirt. And it's lined, so it's not see-through, which I can appreciate. Okay, do you hear? Well, we did get some more clothes. This is from Zaffle. I've never ordered anything from there before. And I don't really remember what I got, but let's see. Okay, oh, 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 it's a corset. Is it a corset with a skirt? Oh, I guess it has a skirt attached to it. What's a little corset with a slip on it? I will cut this off. I just want the corset to be honest. Oh, well, it has, it's like a little wrap around dress. Okay, that might be cute. That might be cute. I ordered a lot of this stuff in the middle of the night. <laughs> We got, what is this? Oh, it's like a little just white jumpsuit. I don't know why I got this, to be honest. Maybe I could just wear it to the club. It's giving a see-through though. Very see-through. We'll have to try this stuff on later. So I have a few more packages coming in. Oh, this was super cute. This is what made me go to the site. Look at this little skirt. Hopefully it's not too big. It low-key looks like it'll be a little bit big on the waist. But look at that. And then it came with this top. How cute and fun is this top? I thought this was so cute. It's upside down. You get the vibes? I feel like this is gonna be so cute. Hopefully it fits. And I got one more thing. I ended up getting another little two-piece set. This is like a long sleeve. It's like ribbed. It's very shiny looking. The other two-piece like white lounge set that I had ordered from Monday Swimwear, it didn't fit. The pants didn't fit and I didn't like the short sleeve top so I got another pantsuit. Ooh. <laughs> Hopefully these fit. These low-key look like they're going to be too small, too. You know, your girl is thick, baby. I think I ordered a medium, too. Don't let me get to line. No, I ordered a small. That was my look small. I am not a small. <laughs> but anyways, these are the pants. The top. So that's all the clothes we got. We should have enough outfits now. What time the rest of the stuff comes in? Amazon. Got some packages. Okay. I got some more press-on nails. I wanted something a little bit shorter. The ones I had on earlier, I just like cut them down because I want to switch them off and put on something shorter. So these are pink. I'll give you a little update. I'll probably still put them on tomorrow or something. But I saw these loungewear sets on Amazon. They're not the right material. I'm so mad. I thought I really was going to have hit the jackpot on these, but no. Anyways, they look like they're like a cotton material online, but they're not. And I don't know what type of material this is. I'll probably still wear them just to sleep in, but I'm like very disappointed. Polyester. It's polyester and spandex, which I wanted something cotton. I just like cotton pajamas and in the ribbed 
probably when it's the ripped material i just like the cotton better over apparently polyester it's just not my vibe especially for sleepwear cotton's more comfortable so a little disappointed in that but it's giving like kind of like skims but it's not because it's polyester not cotton so tomato i'll probably still keep it but it's not a dupe they'd be saying it's a skims dupe it's no dupe for the skims oh here's the pink one I ordered it in pink too because I really like the material of the like on the pictures. It looks like it's cotton. The pink one is kind of cute though. I don't like this look a little like fire. But I just like cotton better. This pink color is really cute. I'm probably still gonna wear it around the house, but I'm not the awkward smile. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I think that was everything I got from Amazon. I should be having some more press on nails coming in because I got more than just these. I ordered like a couple different pairs and they were all supposed to come today so i'm gonna have to check on that because amazon do not be priming these days that's so annoying it says delivered today that's a lot where are they maybe they're in the mailbox or something i don't want to have to get scissors for this i was this is what i was cutting my nails with it's like this little it's not gonna focus whatever it's one of those like nail cutters that cuts the length off the nails. but i got some more nude nails that are short Oh, I'm so excited for this. I have to smell it. If it smells good, I'm going to get the big bottle. I've been dying to smell this. This is the new one from Sol de Janeiro. The smell. What does this smell like? It smells like Beach Walk by Replica when it dries down, which I feel like is a nice summer scent. This would be like a good outdoor scent. I don't like it more than number 40 or 68. I think my lineup right now is like 68. I think which is the light pink one don't quote me but just listen to the colors i'm saying okay so 68 i think is the lightest one and i really like that one that's my favorite then i like 40 which is like the woodsy vanilla-ish scent then probably this one and then the other two orange ones i'm not really a big fan of the other two like original ones this definitely smells like mason mangella fragrance okay we got the cream my friend Michaela said that this cream smells good and it has like it has shimmer in it so it gives you like a glow. I feel like it doesn't really smell like anything. Let's put it to the test. I'm not seeing the shimmer. I don't see a lick of shimmer. Okay, I see it. You put the flash on that point that joint is shimmery. So in the sun it probably looks really good. Oh, it is very glittery. I can't see it without the flash on because I guess it's like the sun is going down so it's not that bright, but it is very sparkly when you put the flashlight on it. You know I had to re-up on my way St. Bart's. I got the scrub and the body wash. This is what I'll take with me when I go on vacation because it just I feel like low-key. Mm, yes and no. I feel like you could low-key pair this with this. But this smells better. They need a perfume for this. Wait, can we get a St. Bart's body mist? Like, that would be fire. Okay, that's all I got besides my skincare. I read up on my Tatcha cleanser and the enzyming face wash because it was 20% off. Okay, go ahead and hit up the sale, girl. Whatever you're going to buy. Well, don't let me get to telling you what you're spending your money on. But if you're thinking about purchasing something from Sephora, now is definitely the time okay and my top recommendations would definitely be everything that i got it's still it's still time for the sale okay i would definitely get anything away if you've been thinking about it while the sale is going on love it the sol de janeiro like i said the 68 i think it smells amazing i'll link everything that's like my recommendation to you guys this is just what i personally use for cleansers i mean the lawless forget the filler lip mask love that definitely i'm gonna about to go on there right now repurchase that and then i'm also gonna get the necessary hyaluronic acid serum which i forgot to get when i got all of this stuff and i would say that is like my top top recommendations y'all know i'm not like super into makeup and stuff like that so i usually just get like either perfumes or body care from sephora that would be my recommendation i don't know if there's nothing else that i'm like super super into right now from sephora that i feel like you just gotta get it um the laneige lip gloss is cool i will say i do like that i would have got the summer fridays pink lip gloss if it was still in stock yeah i think that's everything i'm about to go order those two things real fast that's everything that i got wasn't too much i really don't know how i feel about this it's like when you first spray it 
It definitely smells like, maybe it's not Beach Walk, maybe it's another one of the fragrances, but it smells something like exactly like the Mason Mangella replica perfume line. I think it is Beach Walk that it smells like to me though, in my opinion. And I do like Beach Walk, but I wear it if I'm going to be outdoors. I don't really like wearing perfume if I'm going to be like outside somewhere, like say the beach, an amusement park, the zoo. Like you want to wear something that smells kind of, it doesn't smell like outdoors, but it smells like sunscreen. So it smells like fitting for the event or the the atmosphere, whatever, the vibe, you know, the outdoor vibe, if that makes sense. So anyways, that's everything that I got. I'm about to go to sleep. I started vlogging like way later in the day today because I just been like cleaning up and I didn't know if y'all wanted to like clean up with me today. So that's all a girl's really been doing. I don't know why. I literally just put these nails on and I'm already like cutting them down because they're just too long for me right now because my nails are so messed up. Anyways, tomorrow we gotta get out of the house, run a couple of errands. I gotta go print something off to return that mirror that broke from Walmart. I have to get the print the label because I accidentally got the wrong printer ink for the printer we have at home, so that's no good to me. And then I need to pick up my camera from Best Buy. It's been ready for like two weeks now and I've yet to go and grab it, so gotta do that. And I don't know what the rest of the day is gonna entail, so find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning! Happy Friday! Today is House Hunting Day. Well, kind of. We're going to see a couple houses to buy today. So that's exciting. Getting ready to get the kids finished, dressed, and go to school. And then we got a lash appointment. And then off to the houses we go. So that's exciting. I didn't see y'all yesterday because I really just wasn't having a good day. Like, it was the last day of my period. And I just, I just really wasn't having the best day. But I'm better now. I'm better now. We got packages, what do you know? So we have some things to open. Anywho, we'll get ready to go. And yeah, that's it. I was just coming in to say hi. The morning is busy. We gotta go to Best Buy too. We just gonna be outside a lot and I didn't wanna hop back into the car talking to y'all. So I'm letting you know now, hey girl. We're gonna go to drop the kids off. Maybe get them Starbucks. I don't know yet. We gonna see how much time we have. Cause it's already eight and I gotta get back to get my lashes done by nine. Lash lovers. Yep, 9 a.m. Ooh, I hope it's only like 30 minutes. Ugh, I hate sitting there getting my lashes done for an hour. Chocolate milk. Mm. Fenty cherry. Lip balm. Smells delicious. Are you sleepy? Oh, look, I, I came back because I want to show y'all. Look at their pictures from Picture Day. Ooh, momento. I'm switching purses really quickly. Okay. Look at my baby's pictures. the day Carter was sick at school. No, Carter was at home sick. That First of all, so this days. looks like a two-year-old child. This baby is huge. And then look at them, y'all. Oh my goodness. He looks like me right here. I won't lie. All right, so we're at the first house. We're waiting for the realtor to get here. I'm gonna tell you. I think this is a four bedroom, three bath. Yeah, it's four bedrooms, three bath, 2,985 square feet. I don't know where they hide all the square footage because it looks small from the outside, but I'll show y'all. I'll take y'all in. But it is only one car garage. I don't like that either. I don't like that. Why would they do that? I feel like they should have just brought it forward and then opened up and put the garage out this way. See it inside? It goes right here. Not the washer and dryer right here. With no door. There's no door right here. To keep an open mind. Mm. Don't like it. If that's the washer and dryer, I definitely don't like that. Yeah, the washer and dryer. Half bath. And the floor here is disgusting. I like this color wood though. Another closet. Definitely need that. This is the front. Stairs. Dining. I would definitely change out all the black hardware and the oven. I don't like that oven. It's got no fridge. What's this? A random bedroom? Office. I don't think so. If it's considered a bedroom, then this would be one of the bedrooms. Or something. 
because the living room is small. It's tiny and there's, oh, I don't like that at all. That's hella short. <laughs> I do like this open space. Ready, one, two, three, four. I don't like the carpet. I would definitely rip the carpet up. A little balcony. Damn. Yeah. It's a tight squeeze. Okay. This is nice. Look at this. I like this. That is a miniature tub. What is this? They just threw that in for decoration because that is not. Yeah, that is not it. This closet's pretty small. The shower's big. Look, two shower heads. Is it a tight squeeze? Toilet. I definitely would not have this black and I would rip out all of the carpet. Kids bathroom. Oh, there we go. This would be one of the bathrooms. Okay, yeah, so that fourth bedroom is downstairs. Which I don't like at all. These rooms are too small to share. It's looking like a no for me. Okay, the first house. They make everything look better on pictures, but the material <laughs> of what it's made, like the house is just built poorly, you can tell. Like it's just not built well. We're going to see one more today, or well, at least together. I might go see some more later. The next house I'm hoping is a little bit better material-wise. That's in South Dallas. I asked you, did you want to come? I said, yeah. And this is why I don't take him anywhere. Yeah, yeah. so when y'all don't be seeing him, this is why, because he doesn't ever want to go nowhere. But to that ain't that that I don't want to. I need to be in the back. You need to drive. I need to drive. I don't like to drive. You do like to drive. You drive everywhere. Okay, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like we can cross that off the list altogether. And that was the one I was the most hopeful for. So I'm a little disappointed because I do like the proximity to the city, but no. The houses are too congested. I don't want to be able to see my neighbor's backyard from the windows. And then it looks like, I don't know why, but like my opinion is I feel like it looks like somebody built it and then somebody went in real cheap and just threw materials on it and slapped a coat of paint on the walls because it still smells like paint in there but it's just built like shit. They could put a little bit more effort into it, I think, and still got the same amount of money. Anyways, next house. Okay, let me give you all the specs while we're on the way to the new house. This one we're going to is also four bedrooms, three baths. It's 2,631 square feet. This one is on more of the pricier side. Or not the pricier side, but the higher end of the budget. And the only thing I don't like about this one off a rip is the darker colors in the kitchen. But we shall see. The backyard on this one is bigger and it has a deck. So we're hopeful. Do you feel like when I'm talking to my camera, like I'm talking to myself? Like, does that seem weird from your perspective? No? You think when I first started doing it, it was weird? Wow. Yeah, they could have put some more effort into that. I won't lie to you. And then it's like, I don't know. Because I went to look at a rental property that was over in this neighborhood. And it was just kind of the same vibe. Like, they just built it poorly. Like, even, like, you can't even pull the door handles all the way in and out. Because the paint is, like, gluing the door shut. And I'm like, how much effort did y'all really just put into it? Like, for a new build, it's not giving new build. It's giving, like, yeah, no, renovated. The foundation in Texas is already bad. 
I mean, our house that we live in now is a new construction house and it started to shift, but it's not that noticeable, so. And I feel like the materials in our house are definitely a lot better, for sure. Definitely wasn't kid friendly. And then there was only three bedrooms upstairs and the fourth one was downstairs, which is what our house is now. So technically our office, when we previewed the house, it's listed as a four bedroom house, but we use the downstairs bedroom as an office because that one makes more sense for it. And then the fourth bedroom was also downstairs and I'm not gonna have one of the kids downstairs by themselves either. It'd be different if like the master was on the first floor and then the other bedrooms were upstairs, but it's just a no. So I didn't like that layout at all because then I feel like the rooms are too small for them to share upstairs. Stairs. I think technically the square footage was bigger. Maybe just because they have that open space upstairs. We don't have an open space upstairs. So that gives it like a couple hundred extra square feet. Ideally, I would like to be in something 2,800 square feet and up or 3,000. And the last one was 27. The one we're about to go look at is 26, which is the same as what we have right now. So we'll see. This one does look a little bit more promising. Fingers crossed. I think we're a little bit further location-wise than we would like to be, but we'll see. That's why we need to move to Miami. Oh. Office. I do like the big wood nose. You have to get blinds for sure. Installed. Okay, stairs. What is this, a little doggy? Look, we could get a dog. Oh, I like this, a mud room. Half bath. Let's see what the materials are giving. I don't like this toilet. The countertops are nice. I like the brass. I love this. Yes, I love a mud room right off the garage. Put your dirty shoes right there. There's a window, cabinets. Okay, let's look at the garage. Let's see if there's any storage. Nope, just paint supplies. Oh yes, I love this living area. Baby, look at the backyard. Oh yeah, I like this. Oh, look at the storage under the stairs. This is perfect for my hoarding. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> look how big this is. Oh, I love this. Look at the ceilings. They go up and up and up and up. Oh, this is beautiful. The backyard's huge. Look at the pantry. Oh my goodness. Huh? Oh, look, there's a wine fridge. Look at the microwaves right here. Carter will be making his own noodles in no time. Gas range. Love it. Oh, look, it already has the brass. I would change out the faucet, though. And, yes, and get gold to match the cabinets. Oh, it's lots of cabinet space. And I can reach both levels. I don't like these though. And I would change this too. I don't like the color of this backsplash. I would change this and I would probably paint this white. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's go outside. I love the big windows going all the way up. Oh look, it's a small deck. I feel like we could extend the concrete out just a little bit just to have more space. A tree! I love a tree. Look how much space this is. Fence is tall. There's a gate here. The gate's on the side. You could put your mowing shit back there. I like this. I would definitely have somebody just pour a little bit of concrete and just make this like a little bit bigger. So we could maybe get a TV outside or something. I forgot about the basketball hoop. I would definitely have someone paint this too. I don't like the blue. Okay, up the stairs we go. Oh, this is definitely a lot nicer. Look at the rails. What is this? Okay, let's go to the master. Bookshelves. Oh, look. See, yeah. They can miss me with the blue. It'll definitely be painted white for shit show. What? Look, it's a big balcony. And it's overlooking the backyard and not the front, which I like better. I can yell at the kids. Yeah, Look how big. Okay, fun. Look. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, look at the shower. Let's go in. Mm. 
Lovely, how yeah, lovely. Yes, yeah, so I'll be right back here. Oh, the sink countless. Look how much counter. Oh, all my shit's just gonna be everywhere spread. <laughs> oh, look, the closet. It's not that big. Oh, but look at this nice little chandelier detail. This play. I feel like it's a tad. Oh, you know, I don't really have that much stuff, so I give an issue. I don't like these mirrors, though, I will say. I would definitely take this out and do like single i think that just looks a little bit more aesthetic tv's already mounted look at these little lights in the ceiling it's the little things in here i definitely hate that blue though so you can lose it in five seconds okay all three bedrooms is it not four bedrooms where's the fourth bedroom they would consider that the bedroom? Yeah. Damn, it was mm -hmm. almost perfect. <laughs> they consider the office the bedroom. These are huge though. Carter and Carson will be sharing. I'm kind of jealous that they have these floor to ceiling windows in here. Um, let's see what the other room looks like. Closet. Let's look at the bathroom. It's only one sink. That's not ideal. I don't like this blue. What the fuck is this blue? They like navy, huh? I feel like, no, this would be Carter's room because it has a bathroom attached. I was going to say, there's got to be... Oh, no, it doesn't. It has a closet. This has a bigger closet, though. I feel like I would have said that he would have had the bigger bedroom, but this feels fitting for... Because it still has a big closet for him. And then you can fit two beds in here very easily. One here, one here. I love these windows. All right, we are back from looking at the two houses. If you guys couldn't tell, we really liked the second one. We really did not like the first one. So I think the first one is definitely not a contender at all. Two is definitely on our list. Ideally, it has a couple things that I don't like, especially for it being higher in price, especially for the neighborhood. It's not technically like the most expensive house, but we decided to get something that's less than what we actually can qualify for and just try to stay in a smaller budget. Ultimately, just to be cautious for the first house that we're buying because right now we're renting and so we want to pay less than what we're paying with renting. That way, if we have to fix things on our own, you know, it's like wiggle room here and there. You don't want to feel like too like stretched out on the budget or whatever. So anyways, I like the second one a lot, like a lot, a lot. I would... If I don't find another house, the second one I would definitely move into for sure. The neighborhood is definitely better than the first neighborhood. It's still not ideally where we would want to be because we really want to be in the area that we're in now. But unfortunately, it's just it's not in the cards right now because I think like where we live now, it is new construction home. So we thought about buying in this neighborhood that we live in. But for the amount of space and the way the layout is on these homes, I just don't think it's worth it. Plus the backyard is really tiny. And then all of the other homes in the neighborhood are going for like 1.8 mil, which like technically would be doable, but the, I feel like that would just be, that would be ODing it. And they're not very family friendly. Plus the school district over here is not worth the price of the house. So anywho, let's do a haul. We'll go back to house updates in a little bit because we might go see some more houses this weekend or later today, but for right now, that's it. I'm excited to be looking though. Like when, I, when we were in there and I was like, oh my gosh, we could really be getting this crazy. Anyways, okay. So Amazon first. The boring stuff. I wanted to try this out because I keep seeing it go viral on TikTok and it's basically like this shower spray and it's like you wet it overnight and then you just rinse it away tomorrow and please save me the time and energy of cleaning out the shower any day. So I'm gonna try it out. Another thing. Oh, here go my press-ons that they said they delivered that they really didn't deliver. So these are the ones that I always get or that I had been wearing. I put on some like little short pink ones. They're not like the most aesthetic aesthetic nails like I wouldn't choose these at the nail salon I just ate so I had a little Popeyes underneath there my bad but they've stayed on pretty well and they're they're pretty sturdy so I will say that but I also got these nude colored ones I got these because they came with a lot in the pack I just like this brand in general it's the B Tarte box nails okay off rip I can tell these are like a little bit more flimsy but it comes with like a whole probably like six pack of the nails 
which I feel like is nice because I definitely won't be getting acrylics for a while. My nails are in way worse shape than I even thought they were, so. Okay, we got some more stuff from Caudalie. They sent some stuff to me. This is the Vino Perfect. If this is the serum, this is gonna be the 12th serum I have now. If you want this, DM me on Instagram. Is this the cream? This is the eye cream. And here goes the eye cream. Woo! That was just some PR that I got today. All right, let's get into the fun stuff. We got some swimsuits from Shein. Super excited. Ooh, I didn't even vlog yesterday, so y'all didn't even get to see the new Moomoo that I got from Skims. It's so cute, but I ordered some more, so I'll show you all of them when they come in the mail. But okay, I ordered some swimsuits from Shein because I really couldn't find any other swimsuits on other websites that I liked. I ended up getting these high-waisted swimsuit in multiple different colors. So the first one is just plain, you know, good old black. I'm pretty sure it's all the same style swimsuit. It is. So then the next one I got in this blue color. And you guys will see why in a second. But I like that it's high-waisted and that the straps are adjustable. I also got hot pink. La la. Ooh, la la. I really love pink. I just never wear it often. I love bright colors. It's just hard to match that aesthetic. I got a cover-up. One of those teeny, teeny bop dresses that looks like it's not gonna fit if you put it on but it stretches out a lot yeah i got this as a little cover-up and then i got another one this is another white cover-up but it's kind of like a little bit of a different pattern this one's tighter for sure how small that is hopefully i'll be able to stretch into that lord have mercy and then i think i got a black one as well oh no i got a brown swimsuit not mad at it brown top brown bottoms I wasted. Okay, and then I got some hats to match. I don't ever really wear hats because I don't really like the way they look on my head. But this girl I seen on TikTok, she had these little cute outfits and she had these hats with it. And I was like, okay, maybe it could be just like a look for a picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, just imagine me with long braids and a swimsuit. Is it giving? We don't know. Anyways, okay. And then we also got open it we got this yellow and blue one i don't know if i should tilt it up more but anyways i got this i could wear it with the blue swimsuit it's giving the vibes i feel like i'm very well prepared now for this trip and i'll probably have some leftover outfits at this point to be honest i think that was everything that i ended up getting 10 days until we go to the dominican republic baby this whole next week is going to be super busy, y'all. Like, super uber duper busy. But all right, that was everything that I got in the mail from today and yesterday. I'm about to go upstairs and do a little bit of editing because I owe y'all a video that was supposed to go live yesterday. But your girl was having a day yesterday. I was literally in bed trying to work and I just could not get anything done. So today I'm actually going to go up there, get on my computer and finish up these last little edits. I really don't have a lot left. What I was trying to determine was, I told y'all I was gonna do a Q&A during the get ready with me when I was getting my makeup done. And so I'm either gonna do a voiceover for the Q&A or I'm just gonna take out the makeup portion completely. I haven't decided yet. Um, it's gonna depend on what I'm feeling when I get up there. So I do owe y'all a Q&A and I hate telling y'all I'm gonna do a Q&A and then I don't do them because like girl, be fucking through. I feel like it really wasn't my fault. Like when I was getting my makeup done, cause y'all would have already seen this vlog now if you're seeing this one. But basically when I was getting my makeup done, her son was also there and some of y'all's questions was inappropriate and I didn't want to like be having an inappropriate conversation around her child. So I was just going to do the Q&A as a voiceover, but editing me is feeling a little bit lazy and like I just want to like get it done. So I don't know, we're about to see. And I tried to film, do the voiceover like a couple days ago, but the construction noise outside was so loud it sounded horrific. So then I kind of just was like, oh, fuck this. So anyways, I think I'm going to start live streaming more anyways. I think I'm going to start going live on dedicated days of the week and just picking like times. I don't know. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Don't be mad at me. You either got the Q&A or you didn't, girl. I'm sorry. Let's go to TYL. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. We're going to look at some more houses. I look crazy. I'm going to spare y'all. Be trying to lay my baby hairs for 10 minutes, but we're going to go. Get in the car, so. Let's go!
All right, so this is the first house that we went to see. Um, I can't remember the exact specs. I think it's a four bedroom, three bath, but it had like a little study office slash if you wanted to use it as a small guest room right off the entryway with that full bath. You can see there's a little coat closet here. You come in, I think this is like the laundry room, mud room, yeah, which goes to the garage. So I did like that. However, my biggest things that I can remember about this house that I don't like are the gray flooring. However, the seller did say that if I want to switch out the floor before like purchasing, that they would be open to doing that and putting in like a lighter oak. So just keep that in mind, okay? And then the kitchen was really cute. It's different. It's more on the darker side, which is not usually my vibe, but I feel like because the cabinets are white and it has that brass in there, it still looks really pretty. They said they would also put in a gas range as well and the pot fillers there, so it's really nice. Overall, I don't like the way that they like staged the house. I think that made it a little bit harder for me to like visualize things. The master bedroom was also very, very small, which I didn't really like, but the bathroom was nice. It has double vanity. It has these really unique mirrors and sinks that I like. And then again, we have the tub, the shower. Overall, it was cute. It just wasn't like wow, like the one that we had seen previously on Friday. Um, nice size closet. The carpet also. They had carpet in um the bedrooms upstairs and in the closets and they also said that they would take the carpet out not a big fan of carpet especially with kids i think it's just a little bit harder to clean the living room space on the first floor is very very small though that is the only thing that i really didn't like about that either but the backyard is massive i was really impressed about like, all the backyards on these houses because you could do so much with it like i don't know if it really looks that big but it's huge like you could put a pool there you could put a little basketball court like it's very big um, I also didn't like these stairs. It's giving piano keys. I was not a fan. <laughs> this movie room. And you guys know we are a movie family. Like we go to the movies all the time. We're constantly watching movies together. So that was like a really big selling point for us. Plus it has this whole like upstairs loft area that would be really nice that we could like the kids could use. But we could also use as adults for like entertainment. And then I did like that every kid would have their own bedroom. In this house it's a true four bedroom plus it has that extra like study slash if you want to make it a guest bedroom downstairs the only thing i didn't like about this one is that all three of the kids would have to share the same bathroom upstairs which is not horrible but it didn't have a bathtub in there so i didn't really like that so the only like actual tub is downstairs in our bedroom so they would have to use our bath if they wanted to like take a bath which is fine but it's just something to think about but other than that, I liked it. The rooms were all pretty decent sizes. I felt like they were pretty big. And then I think this one also had a patio. So let's see. I think it does. Yeah, so the bedrooms just keep on going and going, which I really did like. But yeah, here is the little patio that's off the front of the house. I personally didn't think we would utilize it that much because it's on the front of the house. But Aaron said he'd probably go out there, so... I don't know. Okay, this is the second house that we want to go see this day. Again, these floors. I just don't really like the gray floors because I feel like gray is hard to match. This house is super underwhelming too. Like the pictures that we saw made it look a lot brighter and nicer than it was in person. They have these like china cabinets. China cabinets? <laughs> the recessed lighting was yellow, which didn't make any sense because it made the house still look super, super dark. So I didn't like that. Um, the kitchen was all right. It wasn't anything like super, super impressive, but it was a, it was a nice kitchen. The size of this entertaining space is really large because you've got a formal dining room. Then you've got a breakfast snug that leads out to the backyard. The backyard was the smallest yard that we've seen out of all of the houses. And it was very, very unkept as you can tell. So it would need a lot of work. This house, I can tell y'all right off the bat, is not on our list at all, but I figured I would just include it in the video because it was a part of the the house looking journey process or whatever. You got a, another one of those like full bath things on the first floor and then there's like this small room that could be an office. It's really too small to be a bedroom, but I could see how you could maybe put a twin size in there and then they had those really old school like sliding mirrors for the closet and i really wasn't digging that either but anyways we're gonna go up the stairs and then when you get up the stairs you have i want to say 
three additional bedrooms. So again, I wouldn't put one of the kids downstairs. So then that means they would have to share a bedroom up here. And this whole area was just kind of like laid out very awkwardly and I did not like it at all. This is the reason why we were like, yeah, not on the list. It was all carpet and every single room also had a patio off of the bedroom. And look at Carter. He was saying that it, this was going to be his room. He's hilarious. Anyways, this is the master bed, uh, bathroom. I wasn't really impressed by it. It was relatively small. The master did have the balcony off of the bedroom, but it was carpet and the layout of the room was just very awkward. And you could tell upstairs where they started to like skimp on a lot of things. There was just a lot of things that were not um, done well. And then again, they had the patio off of every other bedroom, which I just did not like. Um, for the kids. I feel like there was more of like a roommate style feature that people might appreciate. Plus there was only one bedroom, I mean one bathroom with one sink that the kids would have to share. And I think with three kids, they probably need at least two bathrooms or at least a double sink, so. All right, this was the third house that we saw this day. So again, when you first walk in, you get this little office space um i really liked the flooring in this house as well i'm a big fan of like the light oak um this house was like okay it just wasn't anything that like really stood out to me that i just like loved about this house the kitchen was nice it was a little bit on the smaller side um i did not like the countertops they look like they're just white but they have like <clears throat> like some sparkles in them, which the pantry was fairly small. Um, the whole living space just wasn't very big. The, I think the square footage of this house overall was just probably like one of the smaller ones that we saw. The backyard, again, was a good size. Um, I feel like all of the backyards have like a pretty good size. The only thing about this backyard is like the, the trees were like growing through the fence. And I'm sorry about the angles, y'all. It's like giving me a headache just watching it myself. But Anyways, there was like trees growing through the fence, which I didn't understand why they did that. And then the fence was also really short, so it didn't have a lot of privacy, but it was very, very large, I will say that. And then the master was on the first floor, which I like, and then the other bedrooms were upstairs. And I think I did like this master okay. Like it was a decent size. I had the weight, like the, the nice ceiling. I did not like this bathtub. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they just put a freestanding tub there and then called it a day, but yeah. The whole house was already wired for security though, which was nice. If you guys can see in the closet there, like all the cameras are already set up. So that was cool. The closet was like a decent space. I feel like on all the houses we looked at, like the closets weren't necessarily that big, especially for being like a master suite, but I wasn't a big fan of this bathroom, to be honest. Um, the countertops had that same little sparkly, yeah, I didn't, I, I wasn't really digging that, but anyways. Okay, so now we're just gonna head up the stairs. Aaron doesn't like that like barbed wire siding that they have on there. He was like, that's dangerous for the kids. And there's like barely any landing when you first get up the stairs. You just go right into the first bedroom, which is a very, very, very good size. Like the room is huge. I think it's low key bigger than the master and it has its own bathroom. So that would definitely be Carter's room. It's got a pretty large size closet. Again, with the carpet, I feel like in this house, the carpet was all right, but I would maybe still take it out and just do hardwoods for messes and stuff. But here's the second bedroom. Again, it's a good size. They all have decent size closets. Um, then this was a nice um, bathroom because then Carmelo and Carson would be sharing this bathroom basically. And then their bedrooms would be separate. So that was something I really liked about this house was I feel like everybody had their true like own space, their own room, and then they would share one bathroom. But Okay, y'all are hopping on in the middle of a FaceTime call of me just trying the outfits on. So just join, join, join the group, join the group call. We're back from looking at houses, but I'm trying on the rest of my outfits for vacation. So please do not mind the commentary of this whore. Okay, this is, let me move you over here. This is one. I gotta push y'all down again. My booty coming out. Okay, I have a little part of it inside out, but we're trying to figure out which bag to wear with this outfit and what shoes. So this is the first bag option. Yeah, I got it. Somebody put on the list. Pack. Let's put Gucci shoes on. Let me just see what it looked like. I gotta go downstairs and get them. Okay, hold on. Let You're me not go. prepared for this camera time. Yet. Let me go run downstairs and grab. I got some some clogs yesterday, but the the outfit is cute itself. This part is inside out though, so it won't look flipped like this, like right here. But 
But okay. Let me go get my I bag. Like I do like this. I think Can this is so cute. Please work in it. work in it. It's a go. Okay, yes, for sure. Okay, these are the shoes that we got. Why the dude at Gucci? He was like, yeah, I put, I put my number on the receipt. Hey. If you need anything else. I was like, boy. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I don't think it's yeah. going to really look that cute. Let me see. I don't think I like it. Okay. It's just a little These are fine. more like casual. Oh, Lord. Let me see. Lord have mercy. Yeah, these are definitely too casual for this. This okay. looks so ugly. Okay. Can you see me? No. You're going to have to put me down a little bit. Yeah, no, 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 no. No. Yeah. Immediately no. no. Immediately no. Okay, let's change into the next outfit, though. I got this pantsuit to try on. The way I'm wearing the top is bland. Okay, hear me out, though. This bag. That's giving real matchy match. It's giving neutral colors with the hat. With the hat on. No? Yes, yeah, cute. I can't really but see. I, what I would look at oh, yeah, this I makes it so much cuter. Yeah, hear me know. What I, listen to me. You add some color and add one of those other hats that you just bought with this outfit. With that purse, because that's straw. Because those are two different straws. Okay? I like the neutral. We're going to wear the other color hat and, and, and we're going to accessorize with some color. No, that's just too much. It's cute, it's aesthetic, it's neutral. Bitch, me and you are two different vibes, okay? When you're on vacation, give me some color. What okay, hold on. will look fire with that? I don't know where the other hats are. The hats will look fire with that. You would you would literally take the outfit from where it is right now to the outfit. I think you're hyping the hats up too much. No, the hats are cute. I don't know where they went. I don't know where all that stuff oh. is. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, so we're switching hats. Look at, look at that. Now, why come that don't match? Now I need the pink Jacquemus bag. There you go. There you go. Now you add... I like the other one. Try the other one on. Oh, my Lord. If you get a, a blue... Okay. Now we talking, girl! This now looks so retarded on my damn head. Down. You can do a different pair. You can do an orange, a blue, a yellow, a green... Listen, and now you add in flavor. I don't like now this. Now you're adding flavor. I will not be wearing this. I will be wearing the regular straw hat. You look a mess right now the way you got yourself put up. This is how I would be looking. Put this dirt on your damn self. I like it kind of off the shoulder vibes. Do one shoulder on, one shoulder off. I'm not just going to like walk around Bring like that. Pull this thing up. Don't have it on your stomach like that. Just make it to where it's over your boobs. It's a big bando, bitch. Yeah, tuck it under. Tuck it under what? Make it look smaller. Throw some skin. You ain't with the kids, baby. You ain't big. You we got the clogs on. Oh, this that is cute. cute. Yeah. You definitely need to add a colored bag, period. Okay, I won't do a colored hat, but I'll do a colored bag. Okay, this is one outfit. I'm about to put this all down together. Let's change into something else. Okay, this is the blue fit with the blue hat. Probably still wear the clogs. And then I got these little cover-ups. That is too cute. This giving hoochie mama. That is let me put this hoochie mama dress on. I want you to report, re-report all this because I don't want to hear myself. Nope, bitch, it's too late. They're going to be like, tell this girl to shut up. <laughs> Nothing until you got that on. Uh-oh. Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hey. I just don't really like the hat on my head, but the hat is cute. Like, but why does it look like this? Like, it's got to come down hella far to be cute. Boom. Boom. No, this is kind of cute. Itty bitty dress. Yeah, it's giving the vibes. I think I'm gonna like the other one better. It's like a different pattern on the, the, cause I got two that are like this. This one is like a little bit different. It's oh, yeah. triangles instead of circles. Okay, this is bathing suit outfit one. It has a top, hold on. I feel like this is like a night, a night vibe. Yeah, yeah. Like a dinner night. I'm trying to think of one of your purses. You got a gold accent purse. You sure do that Fendi motherfucking purse. Oh, I forgot all about that. 
Like this black and straw. I don't have to wear black heels. That's fine. You can wear your. Uh, oh no, that's silver in it. Yeah. No, that that's that's cute. I don't know what this where this string goes. I think the string low key wraps I don't around. I think the black should be the only thing. I just feel like. I just feel like I would wear probably. Mm, something's not giving. Yeah, I don't like the black. No, I don't either. That one would look like a, a church dress. Church dress? Just stroke it up a little bit. <laughs> Girl, no. Yeah, at the bottom. The way it flares out. I like it. I think it's giving like beachy resort vibes. It is. It does. It does. Yeah, it's giving I'm going to sit down it's at dinner. Cute. It's very really cute. I'm going to dinner. I'm not trying to look like a hoochie mama. This is going to have to go to the accessories part. Unless I wear like pink. And get a pink bag. That would be cute. The bubble gum, that's cute. I forgot you had those. Scoot back, let me see. I don't like them. Hold on. I don't think I'd like it with the outfit, but no. No, these are hella comfortable, but I wouldn't wear them with this. No. no. Yeah, this is like a jean. So we gotta get, we gotta make something with that. Those to the side. Okay. We're gonna come back to those. What about this? What if I wore my Bottegas? I, that's what I was looking at, the little white heels, yeah. Back a bit. Yeah, this isn't bad, and I could wear one of my um. You got a like a little cute puffer thing. <sighs> can we recycle okay, this? I'm gonna need you to move your mirror a little bit so you can see, and I can. I can't fuck your mom. It's complicated. So. The angles are just not good in here. I don't like the straw bag. I don't like the straw bag either. I damn near don't like I the shoes. I feel like it would be cute with a sandal. Like, I don't think it needs a heel. Ooh, what if I get a brown purse and I wear these brown Hermes slides? Okay, I like the brown. I like the brown. I, I like, like the brown. And you can get a, a, a brown, uh, I can't pronounce it. Jocumess? Jocumess. That would be cute, right? That would be cute. Okay, y'all, so we're that seeing the vibe. We're going to have to, okay, we need a yeah, list. We need a list. Yeah, that'll give it a little pop of color, but keep it neutral. That would. Yeah, okay. I mean gold. Gold Next outfit. Okay, this so is from Jaylux label. I also don't really like this. I feel like it's giving grandma, but it would it would be cute with the family, but. Take take the jacket off, put the pants on, and put the white top on top of it. I guarantee you, it'll take the look from a whole different look. I just don't like the way it fits really and I have to have I have to have somebody tighten it in the back because it's got like the corset like back. Lord have mercy. Okay. This is not going. Okay. This is the bag we picked for this fit. But now we gotta find a different pair of shoes because these shoes don't really look that great. Hmm. Okay, so we need tan sandals. Gonna put this one together. So what is this? This is brunch. Okay. Can y'all see me? We got the outfits figured out. So now that everything's in piles, we're gonna put it in the suitcase. I'll probably repack one more time. But just to get everything all together. Packing like I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm not taking anything expensive. Do you hear me? I mean, it's not going in my carry-on. I mean, my check bag. Especially because we gotta change flights. Okay, this is all dinner. So we pack dinner stuff here. We got our brunch fits. Can y'all see? Okay, I got I got everything lined up. So these are dinner outfits. I'm gonna get one more dinner outfit, and then this is all brunch. And then I'm going to do club fits. And then I got my little pajamas right here. And then on the other side, I'm going to put my accessories and toiletries in the zip-up part. And then anything that costs me money is going in here with me. Okay. Because I refuse to be to be robbed. I refuse. That black dress is going to be interesting. Oh, I need to go panty shopping because I don't got a lick of panties. 
Yes, pop pops. Let me put the rest of the stuff in the suitcase. Okay, I think I low key might take these to wear with the jumpsuit with the little pink bag. Okay. Now we're just going to put this stuff over here. Okay, I gotta pack some of my skim swimsuits. I'm gonna take some of the skims cargo pants and bathing suits for excursions, which these are the same ones I wore while we were in Florida. This is the airport fit. I'm getting monochromatic with the pink. I'm just gonna take all the swimsuits. It doesn't really matter. Let me find my black pants from Skims. This is not the official packing. This is just putting everything together. You just need to make sure we have what we need. Oh, I already know what body care products I'm taking. Way. You know you girls taking the way. Because this shit smells heavenly. I need to find a better perfume to match with it though while I'm there. That's it for now. I really gotta close out this vlog because y'all are supposed to see it like tomorrow. So unless I do anything else interesting, even though this really wasn't that interesting. I'll see you guys in another vlog. Yeah, bye. We're going to look at some more houses. Oh, see? That's why I don't know. Mm. We're going to look at some more houses tomorrow. So I'm like, should I just keep out with me till tomorrow morning? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can wrap up all the house hunting in this vlog. I might see y'all in the morning. If I don't, sorry. Bye. <laughs>